After five years of overseeing their budget, the Antelope Union High School District was taken over by the state. Good evening. I'm Jessica McLean. And I'm Scott Gross. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. News 11 Samantha Bird joins us from Welton with how much they owe and how they'll pay the county back. At this week's Arizona State Board of Education meeting, the board unanimously voted to put Antelope Union High School District into a receivership in order for them to pay back their $1 million debt. We monitor all the school's budgets in the county. When there's an overexpenditure, the state is notified about how much and the date they've overspent it. Will that happen five years in a row? The Antelope Union High School District is in debt to Yuma County by about $1 million. The district was put into receivership Monday at the State Board of Education meeting. Antelope was called to testify, explain the situation according to them, then we testified. Antelope's district superintendent spoke at the meeting and says they tried to cut back. We went through a process of saying, we can't buy that. And we didn't just do it in a vacuum. We set our staff down and we told them, we have an issue here. We got to fix this. Welton Council Member Michelle Jones went to the State Board of Education meeting and says she's glad the school went into receivership. It just seems the lack of transparency of our current um, superintendent at Antelope High School is not doing his job and not he's mismanaging the money um, big time, as you can see, for the last five years. And this isn't just affecting Walton residents. That's taxpayers' money. And as a council person, I know how important that is super to the community. They are always upset when you're misspending taxpayers' money. Jones shares her reaction to what's happening in her community. It's shocking, it's embarrassing, and I feel bad for our school because this only hurts the kids. County Superintendent Tom Hurt says the school will continue running as normal. Reporting in Welton, Samantha Bird, New News 11.